from the following figure find the value of a b c and d so we have a questions uh, six to seven questions we have and today we are going to solve this type of question so you can see here here we have to find out the value of x here is three here we have to find a value of a here is 3a and here is a so what is the relation of 3 and a we don't have any relation so we can let here something suppose here is x so what we can write here x is equal to a this is in the form of z and these two are parallel line so we can write here x is equal to a reason what we can write being alternate angle alternate angle okay we can let anything here to make a relation so a is equal to x being alternate now we have to find out value of a so 3a plus x so what we can write here 3x plus uh, 3a plus a x is equal to how much 180 degree so you can see this is a straight or not so being supplementary angle we can write down being uh, supplementary angle or being a straight line or being linear pair also you can write down now 3a what is the value of x x is equal to a so in the place of x we can write on a is equal to 180 degree when you add we get 4a 4a is equal to 180 so a is equal to this in multiplication so we have to divide 180 by 4 therefore a is equal to when you divide this we get value of a is equal to uh, 4 ones are 4 4 4 are 16 20 4 5 are 20 we get here 45 degree so 45 degree is the answer okay hope you understand this one now look at this here we have to find out value of a so not necessary to find out value of x now look at here here we have to find out value of a also we have to find out value of b also a very simple a is equal to 40 we can write on these two are alternate you can see here this is in the form of z and these two lines are parallel if not parallel we cannot say these two are equal so here parallel so we can write a is equal to 40 degree reason being alternate angle being alternate angle now we have to find out the value of b so we can do like this b is equal to b plus 120 is equal to 180 degree because both angles were inside of this two parallel line so we can write b plus 120 is equal to 180 degree uh, reason we can write being co-interior angle being co-interior angle because both angles are inside parallel line so here b is equal to we can write 180 minus 120 b is equal to we get here 60 degree hope you understand this b number two now look at number c now how to find out value of a we can write a plus 105 is equal to 180 degree because this one is a straight angle a straight line so we can write a plus 105 is equal to 180 degree being supplementary angle so a is equal to we can write 180 minus 105 therefore the value of a is equal to we get here 75 degree okay hope you understand this one now to find out b you can write b is equal to 105 directly being corresponding angle one is inside one is outside of parallel line or we can write a plus b is equal to 180 degree co-interior a we have put the value of a we get b so i'm going to write on direct b is equal to 105 the reason being corresponding angle being corresponding angle okay after that to find out c c is equal to a we can write c is equal to a one is inside one is outside of these two parallel line parallel lines already given here so we can write c is equal to a therefore c is equal to what is the value of a 75 so c is equal to 75 we can write down reason same being corresponding angle similarly you can see here to find out d d is equal to c what is the relation of these two being corresponding angle one is outside one is inside of these two parallel lines so we can write d is equal to c being corresponding angle here also so d is equal to what is the value of c 75 so we have to write here 75 so value of d also 75 hope you understand this question number c now look at this question number d first of all try to understand the diagram okay first of all find out less value of a a is equal to 70 what is the reason what is the relation of this two vertically opposite angle so we can write a is equal to 70 degree reason being vertically opposite angle you can write on after that c is equal to b but we don't have any value of this two so we cannot find out d we can find out d is equal to 60 what is the relation 
you can see there one angle is inside one is outside of these two parallel lines so we can write d is equal to 60 degree reason being corresponding angle being corresponding angle we have to write down okay we got value of d also we have a also we can easily find out c a plus c plus d is equal to 180 degree so a plus c plus d is equal to 180 degree what is the reason sum of angle of the triangle when you add three angles of the triangle we get 180 degree sum of angles of the triangle a is equal to we have 70 plus c we have to find out d is equal to 60 is equal to 180 so c plus 60 and here 70 when you add we get here 60 60 120 130 so 130 is equal to 180 now to find out value of c we have to take 130 to the right side so c is equal to 180 minus 130 so c is equal to we get here 50 degree so value of c is equal to 50 degree now we have to find out the remaining value b a we got d also got c also got now b b is equal to c we can write what is the relation of bc alternate vertically opposite angle uh, sorry vertically opposite angle not alternate therefore we can write b is equal to c reason being vertically opposite angle okay so therefore b is equal to what is the value of c 50 so b also 50 vertically opposite angle hope you understand this d number now look at next question number e Okay, you can see here this line and this line parallel this line and this line parallel okay these two lines are parallel relation of this two is equal to what co interior because these two lines are parallel and both angles were inside the of this parallel line so we can write a plus 50 is equal to 180 degree reason being co interior being co interior angle okay up to here so what is the value of a a is equal to 180 minus 50 and a is equal to we get here 130 when you take 150 to the right side we have to write minus oh, 50 so we have to change the sign when you take 50 right side we have to write minus 50 a is equal to we get how to find out value of b if two cases are there either you can do a plus b is equal to 180 degree being straight angle or being supplementary angle or we can write directly b is equal to 50 also we can write b is equal to 50 what is the reason corresponding angle because one is outside and one is inside of this two parallel line therefore we can write b is equal to 50 degree reason being corresponding angle we can write okay two cases are there you can do by any process either a plus b is equal to 180 degree being supplementary angle because this one is a straight or b is equal to 50 being corresponding angle you can write down similarly for c also same c is equal to b what is the reason being corresponding angle so c is equal to b how corresponding you can see here two parallel lines are here one angle is inside one is outside of this two parallel line so c is equal to b being corresponding angle what is the value of b 50 so c also we have 50 degree now look at the discussion here how to find out the value of a b c you can see here these two lines are parallel so what is the relation of b and 50 these two lines are parallel one angle is outside of this parallel line one angle is inside of parallel means what is their corresponding angle so we can write b is equal to 50 b is equal to 50 degree being corresponding angle you can find out any angle at first now a is equal to 70 you can see here these two lines are parallel this and this line parallel one angle is inside one is outside so we can write a is equal to 70 a is equal to 70 degree reason same being corresponding angle corresponding angle means one angle is inside and one is outside of parallel lines so a is inside and 70 is outside of these two parallel lines okay now last one is here remaining c how to find out value of c if here is c we can write here also c or laid down x only first x is equal to c what is the reason being vertically opposite angle if this one is c then this also c but directly don't write let something so i wrote here x so x is equal to c being vertically opposite angle now a plus x plus c b 
a plus x plus b is equal to 180 degree b in supplementary angle or b in straight you can see here this is a straight line b in supplementary angle or b in straight line or b in linear pair you can write on anything what is the value of a 70 so we have to write 70 plus x what is the value of x x is equal to c is here so we can write here c x is equal to c so in the place of x we can write c what is the value of b 50 so we have to write here 50 is equal to 180 c plus when you add this to 70 plus 50 we get 120 120 is equal to 180 degree this two are unlike term so c is equal to we have to take 120 to the right side so we have to write 180 minus 120 therefore the value of c is equal to 60 degree hope you understand this video related with parallel lines if you understand please hit the like button and if you're new on my channel please consider subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button to get notification of upcoming videos thanks for watching till last keep supporting and keep sharing with your friends.